Today we'll be seeing different food plating styles, simple ways to make your food presentation beautiful, from road swallow to food blogger streak, all in one. Please subscribe before leaving. Let's see number one, food bloggers trick. To make a small quantity of food look big. Turn on the notification for this channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's go. Place a small size plate into a soup plate. Then begin to plate the food. Did you just scream? I would too if I just discovered this. Can you see how full this is? Does it remind you of the popular Nkobi Mota? <laughs> well, let's go see number two. It is sensational. First, you would need a small size plate and a bigger soup plate, just like we did the last time. Turn it upside down into the bigger plate and begin to plate your rice. We're using rice here. This rice is hot. Can you feel this steam? Keep adding. Like this video. Remember, the plate underneath must leave enough space for what is to come. And this other plate must be full. Once it is full, you begin to stuff it, like I'm doing now with the spoon. Carefully invert the rice plate on a flat plate. Be very careful. Emphasis on that. Nicely done. I will wait your feedback after this video. You need to practice this. Gently lift the plate. And we'll do one too, of course. And you see that? Ta-da! <laughs> Let's make it gorgeous. Now it's time for the stew. It goes right in the middle. I was chicken stew. It gets better. <laughs> this is exactly why hotel food is costly. All this drama. Drop your question in the comment section. Of course, I will attend to them. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Gorgeous. I love it. You know you do too. Plating 10 over 10. Let's go see number 3. Place rice in a round, small size plate, just this small one. You can use a medium size soup plate. Once it is full, press it down. Make sure it is compact enough. Turn it over like we did the last plate. And lift. You can do this with any shape of plate. You will love the outcome. Look at that. Simple and straightforward. Ah, let's see number four. First, we create a heart shape using our cucumber. You have to cut it out from a 45 degree angle. Cut into two from the middle. Make sure it's equal. Face them downwards. And then pair them. Can you see that? Boom! We have a heart. <laughs> Art. So we go right ahead. You know the drill, what we did with the steel, but now with jollof rice. I love jollof. Recommend this channel to your family and friends. So we plate our salad or coleslaw in the middle. So colorful. Yeah. When they ask you, how did you achieve this? Tell them, Chanty's Kitchen is the magic wand. The hot cucumber. And then a piece of chicken. Mm -hmm -hmm. Top tier creativity, I must say. You can charge any amount for this. Let's meet the last one. Roll the bar with a touch of steel. You need rolling pin cookie cutter and parchment paper. Place the parchment paper on a sofa. And then you, the swallow of choice. I'm using it right here. Cover with another parchment paper. It's also called a baking paper. Yes. 
and then we flatten with rolling pin. Tap on the share icon and share to your social handles, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and WhatsApp. Like this video. Once it is flat enough, gently remove the parchment paper. Be careful. You can trim the edges to get a perfect shape. Or leave it rough like I did. I think it's better this way for me. It works either ways. Okay, so we're going to now make design using a cookie cutter. See how I'm cutting out that section. You can cut out more if you want. Just going to leave that for the two. Yeah. Then we begin to roll from the other end because we want the other design to show at the end. The end without the cookie design. Gently roll. Lift gently. And drop on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, a masterpiece. Let's trim the extended edge. Perfect. This is why hotel foods are very costly, like I said. So the more. Time for the adage of the week. The difficulty is not with the messy man slaughtering the sacrificial fowl with his legs astride, but being able to receive a message from the spirit world. It's not what you boast of, but what you can actually do. See you next time. Bye. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on TikTok, and to also subscribe to our YouTube channel.